What's up guys, T-Mart here, and today we are gonna be taking a look at this bad boy. Now I know what you're thinking, is this fool really about to unbox a monitor in his kitchen? Well the answer is yes, because this is the biggest table I have in this house and the only one suitable for this monstrosity of a box. So this, my friends, is the LG, I don't wanna get this one wrong, 34UC89G 34 inch ultra wide curved monitor. This thing is absolutely insane. Now first things first, I wanna be super upfront with you guys. This is a sponsored video. LG sent me this monitor to check out and share my thoughts with you guys. That does not mean that I have to say good things. I would never sell my endorsement like that. So this is gonna be an honest look at this monitor, but it is a sponsored video. I wanted you guys to know that. So um, it honestly couldn't have come at a better time because I've been thinking about upgrading my monitors for a long, long time. This is my current setup. This is my current battle station. And uh, honestly, it hasn't really changed in a very long time. The three monitors I have set up here, I bought back when I lived out in LA. Now, I moved to LA back in 2011, so these things are super, super old. I guess they still kinda get the job done, but they're definitely outdated, and it's definitely time to upgrade. Now, as a YouTuber, one of the most important things to me is screen space. I need a ton of it. I have so many browsers and recording programs and chat programs and all kinds of stuff open at the same time. Same thing goes if you wanna stream or just really if you like playing games, you like being on the computer, you want a lot of screen space. More is usually better, which is why I've always had those three monitors. Now, obviously those three monitors end up being very bulky. There's lots of cords and stuff like that. And that's why I'm excited about this because this thing is gonna be able to handle a large majority of the workload that those three monitors do. Now, no, it's not quite the same. Technically, the screen space is a little bit less than two but I think sometimes three is a little bit overkill and I might be able to get away with just one of these things. If not, I might run this thing and then like one extra monitor on the side or if I like it enough, I might end up buying a second one. But what do you guys say? Let's get in the box. It's double wrapped. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. This thing is nuts. When, I think it was UPS dropped this thing off, I couldn't believe how big it was. Like, there was this giant shadow in the doorway and I'm like, what in the world could that be? I couldn't believe, it's just enormous. Like, you think 34 inches? And I mean, when I'm talking about normally having like a, a, I think they're 22 inch monitors, like, obviously that's a big difference, but you don't really comprehend how huge and amazing this thing is until you see it in person. So here we go. Let's get this open. Okay, so we've got a little instruction manual on how to unbox this thing on some cardboard here. So, number one is to take the foam piece out and then, man, I don't know. I don't even. I'll figure it out. Oh my gosh, there it is right there. It's actually pretty light. It's lighter than I was expecting, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay this down right here. Oh, I've never had a curved monitor before. When I was looking at TVs, for out in the living room over here, you guys can't see it, but I was looking into curved ones, but they got really, really expensive as soon as you go curved, and then you, like, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't end up biting the bullet on it, so I'm excited to have this one for my PC. I got another piece of paper, and just more foam. All right, so, oh dude, hold on. I'm gonna have to get up close and personal with you guys on this one. Check this out. Oh, that is the best feeling in the world. Especially when you're like peeling it off like a phone screen or something like that. I'm hoping there's a giant one on the monitor. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's just, oh, Peeling off new electronics is always so exciting. Okay. So this is the stand. Very cool looking, very aggressive, very like futuristic, hard angles. Pretty cool, just very gaming theme for sure. Power brick. Display port cables and a, I don't even know what kind of cable you would call this, cool. So cables, we've got cables. Go ahead and unwrap this bad boy. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so just shiny and brand new. I need you guys up super close for this one. Here we go. Glorious. 
I've got a couple of shots here for you guys to see just how beautiful this thing is. It's gorgeous, I love it. But uh, it's not all about looks. We're about to take it in the office, set it up, and see how it performs. Now, before we do that, there are a couple of things to look out for. There are a couple of little features that uh, kind of distinguish this thing apart from just being a big, beautiful monitor. So it's got that 21 by nine ultra wide aspect ratio, which means you can actually see areas that you wouldn't be able to see on a normal monitor or TV. So it's, you literally have a wider field of vision, which obviously is gonna be an advantage when you're playing a game like Call of Duty because you can actually see more in game, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's also got a black stabilizer in there, which gives you more detail in the shadows. So think about an enemy camping in a corner in the shadows, you're gonna be able to see him easier when you have that black stabilizer running, which is kind of cool. It's got dynamic action sync, which minimizes and pretty much gets rid of input lag, which is a huge thing when choosing a monitor or a TV. Uh, it's also G-Sync compatible, so if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I run a Titan X, it's optimized for that, which is really, really good. And it's got a 144 hertz refresh rate, which I've never had a monitor with a refresh rate that high. My previous monitors were like 60 or so, and most monitors are in that range. So over doubling that, the gameplay is just gonna be super, super smooth. It's gonna look really, really good and I can't wait to check it out. So what do you guys say? Let's go to the office. So there's one single button right underneath it, which is kind of weird. It's like, it's a button, but it's also a toggleable switch that can move in a bunch of different directions. So we can open this up, you guys can see, if we go to game mode here, there are a bunch of different presets that you can have set for different people or different games. So Gamer 1, Gamer 2, FPS 1, FPS 2, RTS, Reader, you can have a bunch of different stuff. You can have like a Netflix and chill set up, like pretty much anything you want, which is kind of cool. So we'll close that out and you can actually customize each one of these. You guys can see we're in here. And Gamer 1, I have it set to be 144 hertz. G-Sync is on, overclock is off, black stabilizer's off, response time is fast. And uh, you guys can see we can go in here and we can change all of these options. We can even set up that crosshair. So this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm actually really excited about this. I can put like a green crosshair or a red crosshair or a dot in the middle of my screen. And that way, even when I'm unscoped, like in Call of Duty, I know exactly where the tip of my gun is gonna be pointed whenever I scope in. And that's actually gonna be a, a really big thing. Like I think that's gonna actually be really, really effective. So um, this is all pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take that crosshair off for now. But uh, yeah, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and hop into a game of Black Ops 3. All right, guys, we are loaded up and all good to go. This is gonna be crazy, man. So if we go into menu and then options and then graphics, look at that right there. 2560 by 1080, that's that 21 by nine ratio. It doesn't quite have the full that this monitor can do. I guess that's not supported on Black Ops 3, but it's still, it's gonna be insane. I've never played Call of Duty or any game for that matter, on this 21 by nine ratio, which I'm really excited for. So we're gonna go ahead and back out here. Let's go into multiplayer, public match, find a match. Let's play some team deathmatch, works for me. Let's get it, guys. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude, this is insane. We're playing on Outlaw. What? This is the standoff remake. Ooh, who's throwing C4 and stuff down? Let's see what we can do here. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a guy. Dude, this looks so insane. Like normally I'm used to seeing the edges of my monitor and like seeing like where, where the monitor stops, but I kind of can't here. Like I, obviously I can a little bit, but it's much different than anything else I've ever played. Like yeah, I, I definitely have a lot more peripheral vision than I'm used to. Like essentially, oh, where's that guy going? Hello, you are not gonna punch me today. This right here is essentially what I would be seeing if I was playing on a normal 1080p monitor, a normal 16x9 regular old monitor, and then zoom it out, and this is what I'm seeing. It's gonna look a little bit weird for you guys because obviously it's got that like, the black bars on the top and bottom, it's got that like cinematic look. That's not what it looks like on my screen. I'll show you guys some like external footage from behind me, but um, I, I have to do it that way on YouTube because Obviously, it's YouTube is not built for 21 by 9. I'm gonna be 100% honest. It feels a little bit unnatural. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's it's it's. I feel not dizzy, but it's just like it doesn't feel right. It's giving me a little bit of anxiety. But I think I would get used to. It. I think I will get used to it because I'm gonna start uh, definitely playing for fun like this. I don't know if I could really record like this for YouTube because I wouldn't want to give you guys those black bars. 
but for like playing for fun and like just enjoying like single player games and stuff like that, this is gonna be absolutely insane. Map two, baby! Oh, okay, hello, right, right up in my face. Ooh, I see that guy on the left over here. Get out of the trees, Tarzan! What is that? Level two, boys, we're ranking up. I don't really have too much PC Call of Duty experience. I just looked over there because that's usually where my webcam is. But um, I don't have too much PC Call of Duty experience. I pl I've been playing more and more PC games recently. Uh, a lot of PUBG, some H1 and stuff like that. I gotta start trying to play some more COD though. The biggest thing to me, and I've kind of said this before. Whoa, I must be lagging a little bit. Woo! Got him nice. The biggest thing is just that like, I mean, obviously when I move my eyes, when I like look left or right, I can definitely see the edges of the monitor. Whoa, that guy had a nice shot right there. But when I'm looking center screen, like when I'm looking right where my gun is aiming, I, I can't really. Like obviously I can, but there's so much more space there than there normally is. It's almost like everything that I'm looking at is just all game. Like it, it literally feels like I'm in my character's head, just like looking through his eyes because everything I'm seeing is what he's seeing. Which is kind of cool. I like this, man. This is this is definitely something that I've never experienced before, and I'm enjoying. Woo! Get out of here, baby. Throw a stun behind me just in case there's one more. No. Where the other one's out. Oh, that's what I was looking for. There's one out to the right too. Okay, I'll take it. A little bit sloppy because I'm playing on PC, but I'll take it. All right, it's game time. Oh, we only got one! There were three there! I was hoping it was gonna connect to all three of them. One of them was like up top right behind him too. Oh well, that's all right. Well, um, unfortunately this one's just about over. Our team's kind of getting whooped. Whew, shut down a ripper. Level three, boys. I'm coming for that Master Prestige. Dude, you know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try putting this crosshair on. Hold on, uh, menu, uh, game adjust, crosshair. What do you guys think, red or green? I guess I'll go, I feel like green, ah, we're on redwood, so green might blend in a little bit. We're gonna go with the red, the red plus crosshair. Look at that, that is so cool. So this part's gonna go away here in a second. You just gotta let it time out. But now we know exactly where the center of our screen is. Whenever we aim our weapon, and obviously it, the weapons kind of move around a little bit in Black Ops 3 from the breathing, but that's the exact perfect center of the screen. So, I mean, think about like if you're playing CSGO, think about if you're playing a lot of stuff, it's just like, I mean, CSGO is, essentially has this, but like, look at this, I, I know exactly where I'm aiming and then I can I can start firing and then aim down tight if I wanted to. Like, I, I know like if there's gonna be somebody around this corner, I can keep my crosshair is perfectly right in the middle and it gives you a little bit, missed that gunfight there, but it gives you a little bit more like, kind of, it gives you a better idea of exactly where you're aiming. Which when you're ADSing, I guess it doesn't really matter, like it's kind of the same thing. But um, when you're, especially when you're hip firing or some games that don't have crosshairs, this is gonna be like a major thing. Notice how I'm like doing a better job of, of centering and keeping everything head height as I come around every corner, because I know exactly where I'm gonna aim in at, which is kind of cool. So, I don't know. I don't know if I would play with this all the time. I, I'm, I'm gonna mess around with it a, a little bit, obviously, but for, for hip firing and stuff, or like shotgun play, or like if you're playing Rainbow Six Siege and you're using a shotgun, this would be insanely, insanely useful. So, I don't know. I'm gonna toy around with it. I like the idea though. So there you have it. That my friends is the LG 34UC89G monitor. Hopefully I got that right. That was a ton of numbers and letters, but uh, I'm actually pretty stoked on this thing. I mean, obviously it simplified my setup in a big way. I don't think I'm gonna be able to run just one. I could probably get away with just one, but it's awfully convenient to have more than that. Like one of these is essentially gonna take away two monitors. I may end up getting another one of these or I might just set up one extra monitor to the side and that'll be like my console monitor to play like console games on. I could do console games here, but I like having at least two monitors dedicated to the PC. So that's kind of my plan. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm excited to kind of explore this thing some more try out some other stuff and bring you guys some more PC gameplay. I've been starting to get more and more into PC gaming lately, so this is coming at a perfect time. 
And if you guys want, definitely check out the LG Ultra Wide Festival. It's gonna be the top link down in the description. It's going on August like 14th through 23rd. I just looked it up. That's when you can apply and the grand winner is gonna get a $10,000 gaming setup. So obviously that's gonna be a pretty big deal. And I hope one of you guys, one of Team Team Art can win. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. My office is finally starting to come together. So once I'm done, I wanna finish up probably sometime this week. Uh, if you guys would like to see a full setup video on this setup, because I haven't even done one in this house yet, then just drop a like on the video. And uh, if it's got a lot of support, then we can definitely do that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace out.